I'm here today to show you the basic recipe or the standard mixture for Webster's chalk paint powder. Now some like their Webster's shaken and some like it stirred, so I'm going to show you both ways today. I prefer to stir my Webster's, but I mix paint in large quantities or I buy paint in large quantities. I buy gallons and quarts, so it's just easier for me to use a Dixie cup and stir it. If you're purchasing smaller quantities like sample sizes, I can see where mixing it in and shaking it would be the way to go. So I'm going to show you both ways. Either way, whatever method you choose, the basic recipe is the same. It's two tablespoons of Webster's to one tablespoon of water. You're going to mix that together before you add it to your latex paint. Now I'm using two of my favorite shades today to show you. These are actually going to be layered on the window pane behind me um, for a future tutorial, of course. You won't want to miss that. Uh, this is the perfect neutral shade. It's called Weimaraner. And this is Aruba Blue. Both amazing colors and they look great layered. So I'm going to be showing you those. These are matte finish paints. Webster's works best with flat or matte finish. Now if you have a, a higher sheen, let's say satin or semi-gloss, it's going to work well with Webster's too. You're just going to need to add a little more powder to get that same chalky consistency and for it to distress like you're wanting it to. Okay, so to get right to it, it's really, really quick and easy. It takes no time at all. Again, you don't have to be super precise with your measurements. I'm using my bulk box today. Uh, two tablespoons of powder, one tablespoon of water, stir it up. Never really mix more than a cup at a time because it goes so far. Um, in fact, for a lot of the projects that I work on, I mix it in half cup increments or even quarter of a cup sometimes. So you can really, really play around and stretch it far that way. And that's it. That one's ready to go. Okay, so on to the shaking method. Same principle, two tablespoons of powder, one tablespoon of water. You're going to secure your lid and give it a shake. And then you want to give it a once over. Just make sure there aren't any lumps. Make sure it's nice and mixed in. And then pour that into your paint. And give it a stir. Or a shake. Give it a shake. Again, make sure your lid is nice and tight. That's it. We're all ready to paint. Let's move over to the table and get started. Okay guys, quick brush comparison. The brush on your right is a white china bristle brush. It's great for clear coats. As you can see, it's nice and soft. The bristles are very absorbent, so it's gonna hold onto your product. The bristles on your left are more stiff. This is a Chinex brush. It's great for the Webster's mixture. It's what I prefer to use when I'm using the paint. As you can see, there's very little absorption of the product. It's going to spread it nice and evenly. You're not gonna waste a lot of product. Um, it's just, it's the perfect brush. It goes on nice and smooth, virtually zero brush marks. Um, you can get this in a lot of different brands. Again, this is a Chinex brush and I love it. Now remember, we're doing the layered paint technique on this piece, so I'm just going for a thin, even base coat. And I'm gonna paint the rest of the piece and I'll see you for the next tutorial.